picking up our new Kill Bill toucan, which was recently confiscated by US Fish and Wildlife Service. There are 36 different species in the toucan family, and about 25% of those are threatened with extinction, and a lot of that is driven by either habitat loss or the pet trade. Hey, good morning. Oh, cool. Memorial, one of the two federally run quarantine facilities in the United States. And these animal quarantine facilities, their main goal is to prevent the introduction of foreign animal diseases into the United States. He's tested negative for the two main avian diseases. So like this paperwork's good, he's healthy. So we're really happy to say he's eligible to be released to the Bronx Zoo. And we're really happy he's found a great home to go to. Good looking bird. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, the bird looks great. It looks like it's in really good condition and is really calm in the carrier, so I think it'll travel well back to the zoo. Thank you. Does he look good? Yeah, looks great. So he, she, do we know? We don't know, but I think Sue might be able to tell. Toucans are really neat birds. They're large, they're colorful, they have great personalities, so they've been kept for pets for years. Since it's illegal to buy wild-caught birds, unfortunately, a lot of that trade has been driven to the black market. Typically, the animals are sometimes drugged, put in spare tires. Sometimes people attach them to different parts of their body. A lot of birds in that situation will die somewhere along the way. So when birds are confiscated, wildlife officials realize that they need specialized care. And so who do they turn to? They turn to the Bronx Zoo or other accredited zoos and say, can you help us out with these birds? So the best thing we can do for it is give it, you know, a calm, stable environment where we meet all its needs and make sure that, you know, it has a nice environment to live out the rest of its life. Beautiful. Did he make any noise? No, barely made a sound the whole way. Wow. All right, we're ready to roll. You ready? I'm ready. You got the beak? I got the Do you want to look at the feet, too? Yeah, we will. I love toucans. I've raised toucans from day one until, you know, they're weaned and, and fledged and now eating on their own. Now I'm thinking it could be a female. <laughs> Good? We're done. It's exciting because we don't currently have many toucans in our collection. Nice. She can fly. I'd say she flies just fine. Stay. That was quick. Where's she going, Chuck? We were thinking a large neotropical flight. It's a nice, large, lush area for her. We're expecting the bird to be a little nervous. The Wildlife Health Center staff will be the main caretakers of this bird in quarantine. The ornithology department will, of course, work very closely so we can work as a team in monitoring the acclimation of this toucan. Welcome. the Keobel toucan into the exhibit this morning. The Keobel toucan finished its quarantine two days ago, and it is in the Audi in the exhibit. What'll happen is I'll do the release. Casey will monitor what it looks like up on top. The bird looks in good shape. Just kind of hanging out, waiting. So, Casey, you good up on top? I'm ready when you are. OK. The hardest thing with confiscated birds is just it takes them a while to settle in. It's a bird that's just constantly in motion, not comfortable, and they just look scared. Oh, there you go. Sweet. That's what makes toucans spectacular. Now he's going to start doing what toucans do, which he's going to start exploring. He's a little bit overwhelmed, but he's all right. It's a pretty big exhibit to be released into. 
The South American exhibit is perfect for the Keelbill Toucan because of its size. That gives the Toucan the ability to use the different levels of the exhibit as well. That's very cool. All right, I'm going to come up there. We send out some feathers to determine the sex of our bird. And we got the results, and the toucan is a male. Now the next thing that we'll be paying attention to is food resources and how he's managing that. Is he coming down to pans? Uh, that'll be the thing that we're looking for next. The bird's had quite a journey to this point. It's the harsh reality of an animal that is illegally smuggled, the garbage that animal had to go through to get to this point. Let me show you this little trick I do. Then you want to scoop it out, and I put blueberries in there. OK. Right now, we're going to feed the keelbill toucan just to give the bird more opportunities um, to get to food, because he is still rather new to the exhibit. The keelbill toucan has now been observed eating on a regular basis. And that's definitely the best indication that the bird is comfortable and not feeling any stress. Now, toucans have real long bills. She'll be able to reach in there. Our newest addition has been on exhibit. It'll be a week tomorrow. This particular keelbill toucan has had quite the journey being illegally smuggled into the United States. And it seems a perfect ending for the toucan to end up in a South American exhibit. I'm sure the bird is um, enjoying this. I'm thinking if you can reach that little nub right there. See that big fat nub uh -huh. coming off this branch? Okay. You might be able to get it. I'll watch your ladder. This is the first time that I'll actually be placing the papaya bowl and some other spirit fruit items like bananas and grapes. This will allow the bird to exhibit its natural behavior of actually feeding for itself. They use that long beak. While it looks cumbersome, it's quite agile, and they're very much able to maneuver it um, and get to fruit items that other animals cannot. Oh, that's okay. Well, blueberries. The turkeys can have those. <laughs> we have our cleanup crew. Yeah. Our young oscillated turkeys are very happy to eat anything that may be dropped. So I was thinking maybe up here. OK. The keelbill toucan is a fascinating bird. They're very active. The bird likes to watch us. The fruit cups are interesting. So I'll often see it um, looking at me with one eye. I find it welcoming. <laughs> We're done for now, so we'll see how it goes. We picked some nice trees that had plenty of horizontal perching, so the speared fruit is very visible. I don't expect the bird to come right away. This is a wild toucan. I hope he gets something. This is the second floor of the world of birds where the new toucan lives now. There he is. He's watching us just like we were watching him. You can see by the way he's cocking his head. Even though we didn't actively go out and acquire him, he certainly adds a splash of color and uh, a lot of personality to this exhibit. Because at the Bronx Zoo, we have several really large bird exhibits. We have the ability to integrate these individuals into our collection. So uh, we're happy to be able to step up and help the birds when we can.